So I'm gonna talk you through a very quick complaint. Um, I've just Googled reflexology Leicester and um, here's a local quack. So if, it, if I just scan the website, I, I can see quite clearly that she's making some claims here to treat these various diseases. So if I just start up fish barrel, and I do that by just going to the duck icon and clicking start gathering claims, um, I can then, I've got various choices. So the first thing I'm gonna do is get a screen capture of this page. And then I'm gonna highlight the text that I think is misleading. And it just captures that. It highlights it pink to say that it's got it. There's also some other therapies area here. And uh, similar claims are being made about other, um, other therapies as well. So for Indian um, head massage, it's saying that it's got these benefits. So I'll just highlight that. Um, and it's also saying that it does this as well. Oop. I'll just highlight that as well. And it's also making claims for ear candling. I'm going to claim that. I'm going to target those because they're obviously misleading. And aromatherapy makes these claims as well. Just going to grab some screen captures of this page as well. And over the top. And then once I've grabbed all the misleading claims and I'm happy that that's covered the site, I can just go to review complaint, enter the name of the person, I think it was Eaton, Catherine Eaton, Elton. And then I'm basically done. I click on advertising standards authority complaint and it starts to fill out all the information for me automatically. Uh, if I run back to step one now, um, I can see that it's automatically put this URL in, and I'll more about that later. I'm gonna, in step two, I'm just gonna, I've changed this, it says alternative medicine. You might wanna change that, but in this case, that's correct. Um, my full complaints in, in here on page three, automatically filled in. Page four, addition, go down and click submit my complaint. An advertising standards uh, submission in a few seconds. If I can go back to that URL, that was submitted as part of the complaint, you'll see that it's automatically put all of the screen grabs I captured. And I found I can get complaints into the ASA within literally a few seconds. The system's also hooked in to the trading standards complaint system. So if I click consumer direct here, it fills in exactly the same information, but for a trading standards form um, with all of uh, the same claims being made. Here's my full complaint here and the URLs of the individual images listed at the bottom. Uh, and I just have to click submit to, to report it. So just to look at some of the more advanced features, um, let's say I'm on this website and I want to make a complaint um, about some of the text here on the left. I switch on fish barrel and uh, instantly you see this, uh, this area of text here has been highlighted. I mouse over that and it tells me that an ASA complaint has already been put in. So there's no point in wasting the ASA's time by making another complaint because one was made at the beginning of this month. And that's the same wherever I go. If I click about homeopathy, for instance, um, it's highlighted all the text that's already been complained about. However, with trading standards, it generally takes several complaints before they do anything. So even if this has been reported before, it's worth putting in another complaint to, to Consumer Direct, but not to the ASA. To do that, it's really simple. You just click on the text to select it, click Review Complaint, and click the Consumer Direct button after typing in the name of the organization. While we're on this page, I'm just gonna um, show you can, how you can add more background information um, to the quotes that you're complaining about. If you're complaining to the ASA and the claims are just clearly misleading claims. You don't really need to do anything here, but you might decide you need to argue uh, about what's being said and give some more background information. If you put that in here and here for each of the claims, then that will get put into your complaint. And finally, let's have a quick look about setting the templates up. If I go to options here, um, scroll down, I just enter my basic contact information so that that can be put into the, uh, into the complaint forms. 
and underneath I set up these templates. Now you can use tags such as company for the company name, uh, claim for the claim text itself, background for the background text you entered, um, and you'll see a preview of the complaint as it as it as it will look over here when you enter this format uh, when you enter this kind of formatted template here. Um, and there are two complaints. There's one for ASA underneath a similar one for Consumer Direct. Um, I would also urge you before you do anything to please read the help section that gives you full background on exactly how to use, use the whole system.